What's up, everybody? It's your boy Meme here. I got my Dremel. Uh, it's downstairs in a case, actually. Uh, one second, I'll get it. Okay, as I'm walking downstairs, I realized it, the, the, the meme, but, you know. Um, so, here it is, Dremel. Uh, it's a Dremel 4300, which is the best, um, which is the best uh, wired Dremel that you can get. Uh, so I'm pretty happy about that. Um, and yeah, and you're, you may be wondering like, oh, that's so big. Uh, you actually hook it up to this thing called a flex shaft. So you hook up one end of the Dremel to here, and then you hook up the other end here. And then it's a much smaller sort of uh, Dremel type object that has the same power as the Dremel, but it's just hooked on and it's sort of a proxy a little bit. Um, and I just realized I am um, taking this out. Um, oh, and it comes with all these accessories too. Like all these little bits and stuff. Little bits and, and bobs. I haven't done too much with it yet. Uh, as a little test, I made this little block of wood with my name engraved into it, and I also put the uh, I also put the date. So, yeah. <laughs> um, and then with the buffing wheel and the buffing compound that came with it, um, I got this 1974 quarter and I shined it up. And if you got some actual like buffing compound, like some really nice like really nice compound. Uh, you could make this like shine like a mirror, but uh, you know, of course I couldn't, uh, but you know, it's still pretty shiny and it's pretty shiny for, for a quarter from 1974. You can't really see it that well on video, but I can assure you it's, it's pretty shiny. Um, but yeah, my main plan for the Dremel is to engrave uh, my water bottle that I bring to school uh, because I write my name on it with Sharpie and it wears off all the time and I don't want to have to spend like all this time writing my name on my water bottle throughout my whole life, you know, when I could just, you know, engrave it, right? Um, and, you know, I could also engrave things like my phone case and other things like that, so, you know. Um, the only issue is that, you know, when I had gotten this, uh, it comes with an engraving bit, uh, but looking at the manual, uh, the engraver, the engraving bit is only really good for, like, soft metals and wood. Um, and this is not a soft metal, this is steel. This is a steel water bottle. Uh, and that's actually a hard metal, and so I can't, um, I can't engrave that with that tip. Uh, so I'm going to be getting a, a diamond sort of thin tip online uh, for thin bit. I don't know what they're called. Uh, th like thin bit online. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, you know, uh, yeah. For breakfast, I had nothing. For lunch, I had a sandwich, and uh, there are these really phenomenal burritos at school, which is really incredible. Uh, they're, they're, we only had them like a couple times at the beginning of last year, um, and I saw them, and they had these red, um, these red stickers on them, and I was like, oh, those are the really good burritos. And uh, you know, not only do they taste really good, not only do they have like beef and cheese in them, uh, but they're also just super, super, super hot. They're like very hot, you know, to where you take them out and you can't touch them for a second because they're so hot. And, uh, you know, it, it was just really incredible. So I had to have that. And I normally don't have school lunch, but, you know, I, I, I just had to. I also had a sandwich. <laughs> so, you know, I ate a lot of food for lunch. And uh, for dinner, we had quesadillas um, after I after used my, my Dremel for a long time. Um, yeah, nothing's really going on. I'm trying to find out what's happening with Jellyfin. Uh, you know, I tried getting Jellyfin working on my NAS server and it kind of worked a little bit, uh, except it was just, it was just a little strange. Um, you know, it wasn't working entirely properly, and, you know, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't even know what the issue is. It's super strange. I have no idea how to fix it. I don't know. Um, I'm just gonna probably look around. I'm probably gonna reinstall Jellyfin. It'll probably start working then. I don't know. It's super strange. I might just use Plex. <laughs> it sucks. Um, but yeah, you know, aside from that, I'm just hanging out, uh, just having a good time. Um, today was Wednesday, which means it was early release, which was cool. I practiced after school, and that was good. Um, yeah, we got this new song in jazz yesterday, and uh, it's, it's kind of difficult, but uh, you know, I, I gotta learn how to double tongue. You know, I, I've gone this far, and I've gotten pretty good at, you know, just playing the trumpet, you know, uh, but you know, I haven't learned double tonguing, <laughs> and uh, you know, this song, 
It's pretty fast and it has some 16th notes and it's like, you have to know how to double tongue uh, if you want to play it like with proper articulation and, and slurring and everything. And so, you know, I, I've got to work on that. The only thing that sucks about double tonguing is when you're practicing it and you're like trying to get good at double tonguing, uh, it kind of just sounds like you're playing the trumpet for the first time, right? Um, but of course, you know, there's some experience, like you know how to buzz and you know how to keep a good like tone and everything. So, you know, it definitely won't be too hard, but you know, it's just, it's just a little odd. Um, but yeah, you know. Uh, aside from that, you know, uh, yeah. See you, dude.